There was a big damage caused by uh, by this uh, by this drone strike. This drone strike that targeted uh, Salem. We never imagined that Salem would be killed by by um, uh, um, American fire. Um, Salem was against Al-Qaeda. He preached against Al-Qaeda and only days before he was killed he had a big Friday sermon uh, criticizing and, 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 and challenging actually uh, 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 Al-Qaeda and he was challenging them even in a public debate. It was quite horrific when, that's, when that incident happened because we, we thought that he might be killed by Al-Qaeda fire. Uh, not by not by by U.S. missiles. The idea of uh, hyper precision airstrikes that now only kill terrorist militants, enemy fighters, is an illusion. a false claim by our militaries, by our governments. The reality on the ground is very different. Uh, our airstrikes, our drone strikes still kill significant numbers of civilians. How do we know that? Well, we can just look at official White House data, for example, released uh, in mid-2016 that showed even in, in the CIA's campaign, by their own numbers, they were killing one civilian for every seven airstrikes. From U.S., unfortunately, we don't get any response. U.S. approach to drones in Pakistan is that till 2012, uh, they were calling it alleged drone program. So they never accepted that they're carrying out drones in Pakistan. The drones in Pakistan are conducted by CIA, which is a covert uh, intelligence agency, and they do not give any information out. Our clients demand basically two things out of uh, all litigation efforts that we're putting forth. One is accountability, that those who have killed their uh, family members who are innocent as well and civilians, uh, they should be brought to justice. And secondly, redress, that uh, it has been a huge loss to the families and if we go by international law standards, they should be compensated and uh, there should be an apology. What we really want now is to have the prosecutor office to request formally those documents and those information from the US uh, administration. The uh, Italian intelligence was active on the case uh, of Mr. Lopoto. Mm, he, they were working effortlessly <laughs> to, to seek his release. So we want to understand how it's possible that uh, uh, the Italian intelligence on the ground uh, uh, was not able to you know, pass on the information they had uh, on the uh, American intelligence or the, 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 the those responsible for the drone strikes. So for us at ECCHR it's really important to address uh, gross human rights violations in the so-called global war on terror. One case is the litigation on Rammstein Air Base. It's a case brought for a Yemeni family against Germany. It would be very difficult to overstate uh, the role that uh, Rammstein plays in U.S. drone wars. What they're doing, the commands are sent, uh, is to go through undersea cables all the way to Germany to a relay station that is, that is housed at Rammstein uh, military base. That then communicates uh, with a satellite that then sends those communications down to the drone enabling the, the missiles to fire. So every time uh, that there is a, a drone strike in the Middle East or in Afghanistan, uh, the overwhelming chances are that uh, the signals for, for those strikes have been run through Germany. You know, the United States wanted to actually position the pilots I in Germany, and uh, there, were, <laughs> there was a lot of tense negotiations uh, in the immediate aftermath of 9-11, and the, the German government, I think rightly, uh, said that it would be inconsistent with uh, European uh, human rights standards and, and also some German laws, uh, you know, because you would have 
actual combat operations being run from German soil. Now, it's sort of a distinction without a difference because the reality is that they are using Germany to do this. It's just that the pilots have to sit, you know, just outside of, the, of Germany's borders. So, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of like a half-principled stand. It's important that uh, the German government, but also other European governments counter U.S. positions on international law. And at the same time, um, Germany in the bilateral um, relations with the U.S must uh, take a stronger position how Rammstein Airbus is being used, uh, especially as part of the global drone program. We got one judgment um, by the Administrative Court of Cologne, which rules that our clients from Yemen have standing in Germany that they are also protected by the German constitution because Germany is involved in drone strikes by allowing the U.S. to use Rammstein Air Base for the program. But in any way, we are convinced that this is the, um, this is the right path and this is the right, uh, uh, the right approach to go through the uh, civil ways and civil means to uh, give at least some recognition to, to, to Salem so it can reflect positively on our communities. There is actually some justice that could be achieved through litigation. Welche bewaffneten Einheiten wollen denn da in dem Teil...